today we are going to study about the root from the morphological diversity and the function of living components of the environment. Now what is morphology all about? It is basically the study of external features of any organism. Now flowering plants are characterized by the presence of root, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. You can see from the diagram here. Now we are going to learn about root today. Now root is basically the descending portion or rather the underground part of the plant. It is a non-green or brown in color and the roots unlike stems they are not differentiated into nodes and internodes. Roots do not bear leaves and true buds you all know that. Usually the root tip is protected by a root cap and it also bears unicellular root hairs. You can see this from the diagram. Now there are three types of root system. One is taproot system, another one is fibrous root system and the third one is adventitious root system. Now what is taproot system? This taproot system develops from the radical of the germinating seed and this type of root system is present in dicotyledonous plants. Here you can see from the diagram that it has got a primary root. It also bears secondary and tertiary roots. Now the primary root along with its branches makes the taproot system and it is found in mustard, banyan. Okay, now coming to the fibrous root system. Now fibrous root system, here this type of root system is mainly present in monocotyledonous plants. The primary root is short lived after germination and this is replaced by a large number of roots as you can see in the diagram. So unlike the tap root it does not have any primary root here you can see here. Such roots constitutes the fibrous root system and it is commonly found in grasses, wheat, paddy. Next coming to the adventitious root. Now sometimes root arise from some other parts of the plant other than the radical. This type of roots are called adventitious root and these adventitious roots as you can see in the diagram they are used for various purposes like vegetative propagation, mechanical support and many others. Next coming to the functions of the root. Now roots are basically the part of the plant which is mainly used for support and anchorage of plants. Not only that, it also helps in absorption of water and also translocating water and minerals to the stem. Now coming to the different regions of the roots. Basically, there are four types of regions here. Now, what is root cap? The root is covered at the tip by a cap-like structure, which is known as root cap. Okay, this root cap basically covers or protects the tender tip of the root apex, making its way through the soil. Meristematic zone, that means it is the dividing zone here. Now, it means the cells here will divide rapidly. Next, coming to the region of elongation. Here is, here, this region lies few millimeters above the root cap. And this is the region of meristematic activity. That is the meristematic zone. Here 
the cells are very small and have thin wall. As I have already said, that meristematic region means the cell will divide rapidly. So cells near this region undergo rapid elongation and enlargement. These cells are basically responsible for the growth of root in length. Next coming to the zone of maturation. This region is just above the region of elongation. Here the cells from the region of elongation differentiate and mature and then form the region of maturation. The root hairs come out in this region and root hairs are part of the root epidermis. Next, coming to the modifications of taproot. In some plants with the taproot system, the extra food are usually stored by the primary root, due to which uh, the roots get swollen and resulting in the formation of different shapes, as you can see in the diagram here. Okay, now tap roots of carrot, turnip, and adventitious roots of sweet potato, they basically get swollen and store food. Now, depending upon their shapes, they can be classified into different types. The first one that we can see here from the diagram is the conical root. Here, what is it? The base is broad, okay, and it tapers gradually towards the apex. And it is basically seen in carrot. Coming to the fusiform, here the solen, here we can see solen at the middle part and tapering at both the ends. And it is somewhat like a spindle shaped. It gradually tapers through the, uh, towards the apex. Okay. And it is seen in radish. Next, coming to the napiform root. Here, it is spherical at the base and sharply tapering towards the apex. And it is found in beet turnip. Next coming to the tuberous. Tuberous is basically thick and fleshy without any definite shape. There is no definite shape. You can see it from the diagram. And it is found in sweet potato, four o'clock plant that is the Mirabilis jalapa. Next is the pneumatophore. Here, this pneumatophore are present in rhizophora. Okay, the mangrove tree. And this pneumatophores are breathing roots and they are modified for respiration and helping in exchange of gases. Now coming to the modification of adventitious roots. Now modifications can be of different types. It can be for the storage of food. It can be for mechanical functions as well. For the storage of food, the first modification is the tuberous root. In the tuberous root, what happens? The roots arise from the node and are basically swollen. They do not have proper shape as well. They occur singly and are found in the sweet potato. Next, coming to the nodulus root. Here, only the apex part of the root becomes swollen, like single beads and appear as clusters. And it is found in mango, ginger, turmeric. Okay. Annulated root here. It looks like a number of discs placed one above the other. Next, modification for adventitious root for mechanical function. 
the first one is the prop roots and this prop roots are adventitious aerial roots okay and they arise from the horizontal aerial branches of the trees and are found in ficus bengalensis commonly known as banyan tree i hope you have heard this name banyan tree you will find it in the botanical garden now this type of roots they grow vertically downward and penetrate the soil and becomes thick okay and resembles the shape of the pillars this type of roots uh, provide support to the spreading branches of the tree okay now next coming to the stilt root now this stilt root develops from the lower nodes of the stem to give additional support they are aerial adventitious and they are obliquely growing roots okay now they have you know a uh, several large overlapping root caps which are commonly called uh, multiple root caps and they are found uh, in sugarcane in maize also they basically help in absorption of water and minerals from the soil now coming to the climbing root these roots are also aerial adventitious roots and these roots arise from the nodes or internodes of the plants having uh, you know weak stems to climb up their support see they are just they are the weak stems and they want support of the other plant and uh, they are found in orchids they also you know take support to expose their leaves efficiently to the sunlight now this was all about the root in the next lesson we are going to study the morphology of stem till then study well thank you